Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Selenium series with Ruby language. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about a problem that I recently faced with IE browser. So in uh, IE browser, what was happening like when I was uh, performing some action on a web page, I was getting an error message which states like unable to find element on closed window. So uh, the window was not closed exactly. It was open still, but I think the handle of the window was getting lost for some reason. So that was the issue that it was coming in. So uh, I'll just discuss this uh, this issue that I faced and how to fix this issue. Okay, so we'll just see what exactly the error message was coming in. So I'll just go to the slide back. So this was the error message that shows in the console when I was performing my action on IE browser for any website. So it says unable to find element on closed window and it was stating this particular you know error message with Selenium web driver error, no such window error. And in the console logs, it looks something like this. So uh, before going further, on the discussion, I'm assuming like if somebody else is facing this kind of issue, he's already done all the prerequisite that is required to perform any operation on IE browser. So I'll just reiterate whatever is required for the particular settings to be done on IE. So this includes like downloading IE driver server from the Selenium website and placing the driver in executable path, making the zoom level of the browser as 100%, security level of all the zones as medium high, checking the enable protected mode checkbox for all the zones. So if all these uh, prerequisites are done from your side and you're still facing that issue, so I guess this video will answer your question. So I'll just um, I'll just move to my Eclipse and I'll show what ex how exactly I face the issue. So let me open my Eclipse again. So I have a folder over here. Let me create and uh, a Ruby file. So let's say I'm creating a file over here. And naming it as I error. So it's creating. So once the file is created, okay, it's created. So now I'll write uh, a simple uh, Ruby code uh, on Eclipse uh, using Selenium uh, to navigate to a particular website and uh, perform some action on it, and we'll see if I'm able to get the uh, the error again. So I'll just start writing my code. So I'll just quickly start it. So imported Ruby gems. So I'll import Selenium web driver also. This is done. Now I'm going to take a handle of a particular browser. In my case, I. So now I'll just write a code to open a browser. So I'm opening a Facebook page and I'll just open a Facebook page in my Firefox here just to spy the elements, just to see if it works. And to perform the, or just to see what exaction I'm trying to perform over here. So, okay, so it's loading facebook.com. So, let's say I'm trying to perform, or let's say I'm trying to add some name over here in the email or phone text box. So, I'll just spy it. Okay, so, okay, so we have the ID that is email, as you can see over here. So, I'll just write a small piece of code to check that thing. So, I'll just write an if else loop. Taking the handle to find element. So you know the ID for the particular browser or the particular web page is email. So I'll type email. So first we'll check if it is displayed. If it is displayed, we'll just let's say give a put statement saying email text box is displayed so it's a normal statement that will display here and then let's say i'm going to enter something over here so i'll just quickly copy this 
text okay sorry okay i'll just copy this thing and paste it and just send keys and let's say i'm entering hello or let's say i'm entering admin let's say username over there okay and once this is done i'll just again give a quick statement saying email name email is entered and let's say i'm giving a sleep statement of five second it's done so as of now we'll do one thing we'll just try to run the same code with firefox browser okay so let us see how it works so i'm running it okay so it says there's some issue over here okay so it says it's an issue okay okay uh, why am i bad okay i'll just change it save it let's run again and see okay now it's running so it's launching the browser that is firefox browser now so you can see it's launched and okay it launched facebook.com it's enter admin that you can see over here so you can see this code works fine totally for a firefox browser so let us run the same piece of code for i so i put i over here and let us run the same piece for i browser so just to say i'm adding or i'm running the particular script on i11 that's the latest as of now so okay facebook is launched but you can see there's nothing written in the email text box that is this one so let's go back to eclipse okay so let me maximize the screen so as you can see we are able to see the error message again that is unable to find elements on close window and this is the error message that is coming in so let's just go back to the solution what is the solution so okay so if you can see this window that is solution part so we have to make an entry in the registry so we have to navigate to the registry window then we have to navigate to this particular folder that is okay sorry okay so you have to navigate to this particular window that is registry editor and then navigate to this path and we have to make one entry for or which is called feature bf cache and then we have to make an entry so i'll just show you quickly how to do it so go to your windows and search for reg edit so this is the registry enter it so it will ask your permission give yes so you can see this registry is open so i'll just navigate to the top so again i'll just compare it so i have to go to h key local uh, machine so we are here then softwares softwares wow 6432 node then microsoft so i am going to wow 62342 node you can see here then i have to go to microsoft i'll search microsoft here microsoft i'm there then i'll again see go to internet explorer main feature control so go to internet explorer then i have to go to main then i have to go to feature so you can see i'm there so in this particular um, folder that is feature control we have to look for a folder again or an entry that is called feature bf cache so we can just check i guess it's not there so again if there is no such folder in your system you have to create one if you already have it you have to edit and uh, make the proper entries over there so in this case there is no such entry so i'll just create one that is right click new key so you have to give the value so i'll just quickly copy the particular value that is feature bf cache i'll go to this and i'll just enter it here it is done so now it says create a d word value with the name iexplorer.exe with the value 0 so i'll just go back to this i'll just right click new and then d, d word a little bit i'll just rename it to iexplorer.exe it's done just double click it or you can edit it modify you can see default value is zero so we have done the settings from our side the major requirement now i'll try to run the same script again in my browser so it's running now so you can see it's launching i browser again that is i11 and now to try to add okay you can see it's already added it in the email or phone 
Xbox that is admin and it's totally working fine. We'll just go to Eclipse and see if you're getting the same error message. Wow, so we're not getting error message and it's displaying all the error messages. That is email text is displayed that we have put over there once the box is there and after that we are entering some value and it is entering that in the text box. It's done from our side. So this was a video that demonstrated the issue that I faced and I think most of the people who are working on IE will face the same issue. Thanks for watching the video. Please do subscribe, hit like button if you like it and also click on the bell icon to get the notification on the latest videos. So I'll be posting a lot of videos going forward about how exactly you know Selenium works with Ruby and we are also planning to have some sessions on Cucumber with Ruby as well in the future. In addition, I have also one uh, uh, parallels uh, session going on on Ruby uh, coding. So I'm also doing that in parallel. So please do subscribe, hit the like button and hit on the bell icon as well. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. See ya.